former President Donald Trump is set to make a surprising campaign stop in the Bronx on Thursday, a move aimed at increasing his appeal among minority voters. Although the Bronx is a Democratic stronghold with little chance of flipping red, Trump's visit underscores his broader strategy to win over black and Latino voters nationwide. In 2020, Trump saw a notable increase in support within the Bronx, gaining nearly 30,000 more votes than in 2016. This uptick mirrors his broader gains among working-class minority voters across the country, which helped him secure a win in Florida, particularly in the Latino-majority Miami-Dade County. Trump's campaign is leveraging this Bronx event to highlight his economic policies and his promise to tackle crime, positioning himself as a candidate who can ease financial pressures and restore law and order. This strategy is crucial as inflation and the cost of living remain top concerns for many Americans, especially minority communities. The Bronx event also comes as Trump faces legal challenges in Manhattan, including his ongoing hush money trial. Despite these issues, Trump's message of economic revitalization and crime reduction aims to resonate with minority voters who have been drifting away from the Democratic Party in recent years. Trump's campaign is particularly focused on Latino voters, who are pivotal in battleground states like Arizona, Georgia, and Nevada. By making inroads with both Latino and Black voters, Trump hopes to gain a competitive edge in the upcoming election. President Joe Biden's campaign is aware of this shift and is actively courting minority voters by highlighting achievements such as low unemployment rates, housing affordability, and infrastructure improvements. While Trump is unlikely to win the Bronx or New York state, his visit is a strategic move to strengthen his national appeal and draw attention to his policies on fiscal matters and immigration.